Hello everybody, welcome to my crochet nook and I have forgotten what podcast it is. I think it's 57 but don't quote me on that. We'll see when we, when it comes up in the title. <laughs> so how have you all been this week? It's been an awful miserable week and today it's Saturday and it is dull, grey, miserable, wet. So what better place than to stay in my crochet nook. Yay! Crocheting and knitting. Well, I've got a few things to show you and a few things to talk about. So first thing is I've started a tutorial for my very first Aran sweater pattern. Um, I've, I've started writing it up and I'm following the written instructions so I know that it's correct. And hopefully that should be out for about April, fingers crossed. So it all depends on how how quick I get it knitted. Um, I have uh, I have I have six whips on the go at the moment, guys. So I, that's the Aaron sweater that I'm doing, um, and that'll be out in April, as I've said. The lovely, beautiful Kim from Kim Crochets and Knits. Our, knit, um, our hashtag Sock It To Me Challenge 2022 has, is underway and we both started our socks and I'm doing mine two at a time and I've got circular needles, I'm doing them on circular needles and this is what I've done, I've put this one on a stitch hook, uh, a stitch holder because I wanted to get them to the same size just to make sure that they're the same size guys yeah, they are same same size. So um, yeah, so I'm on the heel turn now. So I'll do one heel turn and do the other heel turn. So I like to do that. And I use the stitch markers, the light bulb stitch markers to mark my rows so I know how many rows I need to do. So there's 59 on each of them. So that is one project that's well underway. No, that's two. And I'm not going to show you the Aaron Cardig because I'd like to show you it at the end when it's all done and that. And what I plan to do is write the pattern, put it in Ravelry with a hyperlink to the tutorial. And um, the second thing, knitted things. So I've got three knitted things on the go, guys. I've got three crochet. Second um, knitted um, whip I've got is let me see if I can find it without going all around the place is Barcelona is Barcelona and it's a wrap and it's from the book easy what's it called easy lace knits by Anakin Alice and yeah so I'm doing that I've started that and I'm using Bramblewood's um, yarn, the um, purple. It's um, uh, four ply and there's four, hold on, there's four, four strands and let me just get it right. I'm not sure if you can see but there's the, the four strands. Uh, it's beautiful to knit with and the company Bramblewood is in in my hometown here in Warrington and this is what I've done so far and it's got beads as well so there we are that's the pattern that I've started I've done the first 28 rows and I've got to do the 28 rows 20 times so there's the edging the edging there let, let me get hold of it there we are see so I'm really so I got that done yesterday. I finished that other sock. Well, got that other sock up to where it needs to be for the heel turn. So that's the second project. The other two are my mosaic blankets, and uh, I'm actually doing. Um, I'm using the alpaca flowers alpaca the yarn art, and you all know I love yarn art. And there's, um, let me see, 
20% uh, alpaca, 80% acrylic and there's 1,027 yards, 940 metres, 250 grams and I've done, I've got to do this till it measures 25 inch square and I've done, so far I've done 24 inches so as you can see the gradients and it's coming out to the cream and then it started with the deep pink so yes that'll be that so that'll get done and um, I'll show you my um, my mosaic next week because uh, I haven't done really all that much um, I've worked out the rows it's my um, challenges you know all know I've been asked to join the challenges um, with the beautiful V and Ursula and Jeannie from Butterfly Dreams Crochet and myself so my challenges for this year are two mosaic blankets I'm doing the Casablanca and I'm doing the Queen uh, I'm doing uh, the Casablanca is a big bigger blanket but the the, the um, queen is a smaller one and I've worked out how many rows I've got to do to make the blanket and I've divided it in 10 for each month and then so that leaves me November and December to do the border because I know the border can be a bit of a a bit of a pain <laughs> a bit of a pain but you know it needs to be done so I thought I'm not I want to give myself at least two months to to do both of the borders <laughs> so we'll see how I go guys so wish me luck wish me luck but if I can do 252 <laughs> four inch granny squares and make a blanket and then once it's all put it all together and then do a frill around the side around the edging I'm sure I can do them um, I had a brilliant life. My first life of 2022 went absolutely brilliant. I got over a hundred thumbs up, guys. Can you believe it? I couldn't believe it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my channel is all about fun. You know, sharing what I'm doing and laughs and giggles, and especially with my lives as well. There's enough things going on outside in the world that I think we all just need that pick me up and I think that that's what I think of myself I, I hope that I pick you up you know out the doldrums and make you smile and just for you know them couple of hours forget about everything else let's just have fun and giggles and that's why I really really enjoy my life and I think it's the best thing I decided to do for my channel is do the lives because you know kind of I mean let's face it guys we all, well me personally I mean and I'm, I'm I wouldn't be surprised if the majority of you are like me on your own I mean yes I've got Rick but kind of you know you've got no friends around you who do what you like you know who's who've got the same interests as you and it can be very lonely sometimes so I've made some amazing friends and um and that so last thing I want to talk to you about is I was going to do a um, well I did actually video um, a review of my crochet now magazine now if you watch my last podcast you know that Rick bought me the subscription to this I made the video I did the review but when I played it back I wasn't really happy because um, I didn't want to get into into trouble really with you know because some of the pattern was showing and you know at the end of the day they're not my patterns and I, I, I didn't want to upset you know other designers because you know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick through it and show you some of the patterns okay guys but the free gift I want to show you is this It is a crochet rescue kit and you get four, four tapestry needles, a wooden hook, um, safety pins and a tape measure and um, yeah so um, that's good isn't it and 
then the magazine it's got 33 patterns in um, and we all know Bella Coco don't we and um, look at that oh look at that button on the back that's the Shepiers yarn and I'll show you through a few of the patterns it's really I've not, actually not had a chance to sit and read this yet but I do plan on reading it I've had a, a quick flick through but I want to show you this I've never done corner to corner before and um, look at the sooty now here in the UK sooty and sweep when I was a child were really really famous the glove puppets used to love them but look at that isn't that awesome and um, yeah it is it's a, a seat corner to corner so the, there's that pattern there's quite a bit for, for babies look at this hat this is quite nice and then we've got let's see this is quite sweet this is the boho rainbow blanket so I'll just go through um, and um, let me see there's the beginning and um, so in here you've got the wild berry slouch hat dreamy cloud makeup pouch oh my gosh it's absolutely throwing it down out there this morning um sooty blanket funky donkey blanket hoodie let's see page 18 oh that's cool look at that guys that cool i like that <laughs> and this is um and you know kind of um let me see and then we've got you know regulars and um, what's new readers make save and win um bella coco chronicles with sarah jane the enigma cow part 10 shepia's top picks designer interview kerry's journal your crochet community the book club abbreviations and what's coming soon so these are just some of the things that are inside this magazine this this month so yeah i'm i'm sorry if i've upset people by not doing the review but it, oh i like this look at this guys this is absolutely gorgeous look at that but what i'm thinking you could actually um what's name it so you know can make it into a I'd you know make it into like a sleeve that is nice that's uh, the dulce poncho it's made with um merino rowan baby cash soft merino that is nice very nice very very nice so yeah so that's um that's that really um what else do i want to talk to you about thank you so much um my hashtag doing a linda went live <laughs> went live on thursday and oh wow guys you guys are amazing i had over 200 views wow and all your comments so much appreciated guys honest you just blew me away with your ideas as well and um telling me how you do your organization and thanking me for my tips so you know kind of as i always say if one just one if just one person gets inspired by my videos i'm happy you know that's all it is about you know helping inspire and um i just love this community you guys are just amazing and i think that's all from me for today and um i'm hoping tonight to sit and watch the yarny fiber sisters the lovely genie melissa and my super pink v i'll have to stay up late and watch so i've had a lie in this morning guys <laughs> rika let me stay in bed and have a lie in so i'm glad really because it's absolutely usually we go for a walk on a saturday but 
I'm not going out in that weather. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm staying in nice and snuggled. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. But more importantly, guys, what do I say? Yeah, that's right. Be kind to you. Bye for now.